Muscles are not type one or type two. Muscles are all sorts of fibers. Obviously, clear as day, when I talk about bobsledders, you have every right to talk about drugs, but they are awesome at, at having gigantic type two fibers, and they have all sorts of other type one fibers. That's why their, their quads are so big, like a bodybuilder. The type one fibers that don't help you run really, really fast for bobsled and, and, and uh, biking, et cetera, but at the very, very end, in the 10th round, and you need to get a knockout blow, your type one fibers have mitochondria. They don't gas out. So they're, they're contributory. Muscles are both type one and type two fibers. The goal of peripheral adaptations is I want type one fibers because they have more mitochondria. You are allowed to train for type one fibers. There is significant value in training slow and lightweight. The next one is we would try to train to put mitochondria into the sarcoplasm. Why? The calcium goes in and out. So as you're turning over and you need muscles to contract and relax, we need calcium to, to be part of this I don't know if the sliding filament theory is really the, the uh, best way to describe it anymore, but you still need calcium for muscles to contract and relax. So if I need calcium to get in and out of the myofibril, the energy for that comes out of the sarcoplasm. That's, that's very aerobic.